I'm Victoria Downey, I work for the English Institute of Sport and I work for the performance innovation team but for the last six months I've been uh, supporting physiology um, because we've needed to put in a massive effort to support the athletes for heat and humidity prep for Tokyo. We all know that Tokyo could be really hot and humid, perhaps the most extreme environmental conditions that athletes have experienced at an Olympics. So it's been really important that we do the best we can to prepare them physiologically to perform in those conditions. So we've set up these individual heat tents so the athletes are in their own confined space where they can get hot and humid whilst they're exercising. So we're preparing ourselves for real extreme heat. We all know it's going to be like that. It's not only the heat, it's the humidity. Um, so we're lucky enough to have these facilities uh, to best prepare us. Um, so yeah, it's we're hugely um, honoured to be able to use these. Um, and as athletes, it's hugely important that we prepare in the best way. Um, so yeah, we're extremely grateful. So it's just getting our bodies used to being in that heat. Obviously, living in Britain, we do not experience that. Um, and as a squad, we haven't experienced it for a very long time. Obviously, we haven't been able to travel, um, so ideally we would have liked to have experienced hockey in the heat earlier this year, but we haven't been able to. Um, so something like this is going to help us hugely. We'll go in there, our bodies will get used to being at temperature for that amount of time. Um, so yeah, it's hugely important for us to be able to experience this before we go out to Tokyo. So we go in there and you have to get your um, body temperature up to about 38.5 or above. Um, and then once you've hit that temperature, we're cycling for 60 minutes or just staying at that temperature for 60 minutes um, on a watt bike in the individual tents. Yeah, it's obviously, it's really uncomfortable, very, very sweaty, very hot. Um, but yeah, that's the point of doing this. Spend so much time planning at desk and actually doing recce's back and forth, but this is where it's all at. This is the heart of it. This is actually where the sports are doing their final preparation work in the UK. Great that the hockey team was selected uh, just a few days ago, so they are fully clean and ready to go from their side of things. This is just putting the finishing edges on the on the performance planning to make sure that as soon as they hit the ground running in Tokyo, uh, they're ready to compete with the world. So we feel really confident because we've been able to maintain our preparation camp in Yokohama and Kawasaki. So it actually means our athletes and staff can do their final climatisation, final adaptation to the time zone shift in country. Most other nations have unfortunately had to uh, let their, their preparation camps go, but we've retained that. We've worked so hard for the last 12 months to maintain that partnership. We want to be the best guests possible in Japan.